Previously on Datsia Yakimura, the hot and cold intellectual. He turns to leave, but before walking away, Katsu looks back to be with Smirk. I'll still be waiting for your answer, Tamika. I know, without even thinking. Why? Katsu knows he sauntered it away and thankfully leaves for Yeah, you are right out here. Uh, yeah, thanks, uh... Shinji nods and walks up, leaving me standing there. Hello. I'm a Sarah. Thanks, Shinji, yeah! Ooh, but, but after that whole display with Katsu and Tatsu, we first... Refuse to look my way at all! What? It's around halfway through my shift when Tatsu comes out of the break room wearing his Nova clothes. Ugh. Oh. Guy, he only got a part-time shift. He walks right past me without acknowledging my presence in the slightest. Really? Without sparing me a single glance or word? Tatsuya, leave Moretta's! What? Watching Tatsuya just go like that leaves me with a heavy fucking feeling in my heart. No fucking shit! Alright, bruh. Alright! Is that how it is, Brit? Is that how it is, Tetsu? Sure! Yeah! If you wanna go hardcore, yeah! Bring it up, bro! Bring the fuck on! Yeah! I mean, Emmy will be all like, fuck that shit, but hey, at least Tonko's like, ready for it. Right, girl? You're ready, right? Yeah! Yeah! Bring it on, bro! Bring it on! How many hours has it been? I'm dying. It's dark outside today. A few hours in our study session. That has fallen. And I'm still unable to get my powers to reliably turn on or off. It doesn't seem to matter what I try or how I try it. Nothing works, man. Taku has been sitting on the couch next to Tatsuya playing video games since he got bored of fucking listening to us, yeah? But he hear, but hearing the frustration in my voice. Press his pause. Hey guys, um, just an idea here, but how about we go out and get Tony Ko a, you know, a gear crystal? Thank you, Takumi! Oh, and we could grab some drinks while we're at it. Oh, hell yes! That's your size and rub size. I can't believe I forgot about gear crystals, God. Takumi laughs and elbow him gently. That's what you get for, you know. Being so busy all the time, you start to forget things. Tatsu? So, how about it? Tatsu says again. Alright, I agree. At least to going out to get, you know, honorific a gear crystal. Um, uh, what's a gear crystal, guys? Uh, oh, I forgot I, I forgot you wouldn't know that, yeah. Sorry, uh, it's so weird when, you know, you're so used to a thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, what Sakura uses to transform in Sakura Spark Gary, you know what I'm saying, girl? That's... What? That's... Fuck, sound cool! But wait, it's kind of embarrassing, though, I mean, I don't, uh... Amy giggles. It's not that bad, girl. It's just, you know, a flash, and, you know, then you're done. Not some kind of an epic transformation or something, you know what I'm saying? Just wait, you'll see. With that said, everyone gets ready to go out to Choa. Ooh, Takumi takes us through one of the entrance that I don't recognize and we go in right to a more upscale part of Choa. Perhaps feeling a bit more like himself, Tatsuo launches into a mini lecture about the district. Were you aware that Choa is, in fact, the largest supernatural district in Japan? Oh, really? Uh, I could have guessed, I guess, yeah? Yes, it's also the 27th largest district in the world. Being in a top 30 district in the world does have its benefits. Like, what? It attracts a lot of businesses from other parts of the world, so we end up, you know, having easier access to things that might be hard to find in smaller places. Due to that, you can find almost anything in Chowa. From potions to enchanted clothes, items, and a rare spare, the rare I mean spell, blah, rare spell books for those who needs them. 
There's more things than I can even, you know, name being sold here. As well as the gear crystals, which is what we're going to get for you now. Nah, yeah, I nod along with the explanation, yeah. I see, so I had no idea there were so many things here. Could there be like more to Choa than I have yet to see? We. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, the background, guys, I'm not even gonna. Anyway, we, yeah, we ended up going to Mizushima's Crystals where uh, Emmy helps me look through a computer to find a right outfit for me. Uh, okay. Tatsuya is the one who decides on the augments for me, alright? He said they were focused on controlling power suppression, and with no clue myself, I had no choice but to, you know, trust what he said. After I pay for the crystal, we only barely make it out the door, did Takumi speak, except I pay for the crystal, what? Hold on. Oh, so that's how it is, Tatsu. That's how it is, Tatsu. God, that's your wife. You know, you know on show route, right? He was being a brand. He was being a brand pay for me, man. Damn. Yo, on the other hand, why are you being so cold down? Well, I mean, it's not like, you know, you have to pay or it. I just said, like, you know, you could have at least... <sighs> Whatever, fuck it, yeah. At, at, least, at least you got a crystal girl, yeah. Anyway. Hey, Tonico. Why don't you, you know, try out your crystal now? What? L like, now? Oh, I think that's a great idea. Try, yeah, try on your outfit. Just focus your power into it, like we said. Well, uh, okay, then, uh... I wrap my fingers around the gear crystal and close my eyes. I feel a strong sensation as a chilly yet gentle breeze blows through me. I open my eyes and I look down. Transformed. Yeah. Oh, it worked! Amy happily claps her hands. You look so cool, Johnny. Go damn! Definitely cool. Yeah. Takumi elbows an oddly red face Tatsu with the grin. What do you think, Tatsu? You look... The gear looks good. Very functional. Excellent choices. Uh-huh. And? And? I smile at them. Uh, thank you for helping me pick it up. Yeah, I can't wait to properly try it out. We can do a test later, but maybe not in the middle of the street. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. I quickly deactivated a gear crystal. But even though I can't reliably do any magic yet, I'm more excited than ever to finally be able to do magic consciously and be a Maho Shoujo Yao! They said I would be able to. Anyway, yeah. I hope it works, yeah. Now that, you know, that that's done, I'll take you guys to somewhere special. It's this, like, little bar that's so good, no, I'm saying. It's mostly, like, frequented by musicians, so there's always someone playing live there. My brother actually worked there, and he told me tonight, you know, there will be some good ones on. Maybe I can get, yeah, I can even get us some free food. Free food? And live music? I'm in. That does sound like it will be nice, yeah. The three of us look to Tetsuya, who sighs and nods reluctantly. Fine, we can go there. Lead the way, Matsuda. Amy happily obliges, practically skipping ahead of us as she show us the way. Wait, I have a bad feeling about- <gasps> Oh, nice- Wait. Have I seen this background song? Oh, you know, fuck. Anyway, we ended up spending quite a few hours in the bar, which as it turned out was called Fox's Tale. Oh, as Amy promised, there was free food, and the live acts are pretty good. After suffering ourselves a little too much, we left the bar to all walk home. And that's when we she saw it, the amazingly gorgeous fountain. She asked us all if we, you know, could go look at it, and no one could resist the puppy eyes she was giving us. And we walked up to it, I realized that there are couples here, and they're around the fountain, yeah. Tatsuya sits down on the edge of the fountain, looking exhausted. It looks relaxing here, yeah. Maybe, you know, he can finally chill out a bit? Takumi-san leads in and whispers in my ear. 
Here's your choice. Not choice, fuck. Here's your chance, Tony Cow. Then, before I can even turn around to look, I hear a yell from Emmy. I looked around. They're... They're both fucking God. Yeah! Thanks, guys, for, uh... Yeah! For giving us space, yeah! Alright. You got this, girl, right? Yeah! Where did they disappear off to? Oof, I, I don't know shit. I look back to see Tetsu sitting at the fountain, looking at the water. Ugh. Does he mean what I think he means? What am I even supposed to say? After a moment, I remember Emmy's word earlier today about just, you know, talking everything through with them and Swallow. Alright, I can do this. I can do this! I can do this! I take a deep breath and slowly go towards them. Emmy's words from earlier keep ringing in my mind. I need to talk it out with Tatsuya before anything can change, yeah. <gasps> I sit down next to Tatsuya. Oh, new CJ, yeah. Oh, this is romantic. I I'm loving it, yeah. yeah I, I really hope there was a hot button, goddammit, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I like you to see right now. What's gonna happen? Hey, is it gonna be open a little? Is that just gonna be a little bit more open? Are you gonna be a little warm for me, bruh? For once? Yeah? Let's hope so, yeah. Anyway. Hey, uh. Can we talk? Like, for a bit? Tatsuya nods slowly and I take another deep breath. So, um. I want to thank you for everything, you know? I never got the chance to thank your family for everything that they did to me, or for me, so, yeah, thank you, I keep, you know, talking before Tatsuya can say anything, I'm afraid he does, I lose my nerve, you know, yeah. I, um, I also want to be honest with you about something, you know, you're my partner, so I should have told you, I've been having these random Losses of control with ice powers for a while now. At night. Tatsuya looks concerned, but she just quietly listens while I continue. It's kind of funny that it's ice that I'm best with when, you know, it's also ice that I'm losing control with. I wonder why. Yeah. I wonder why that is. I'm sorry. For all my bravado, I'm hardly there for you as a partner. I think I... Bit off more than I can chew, you know? You don't seem to have a habit of doing that, bruh. Yeah. Tatsu chuckles and finally a smile appeared on his lips for the first time tonight. Yeah. I guess I do. I do too. I mean, I overload myself with work all the time, you know? I look up at the stars. But I'm glad. I'm glad that he did, or or else we wouldn't have met like this, no? Wouldn't have had the chance to get to know each other like this. Ow! I look back down at that. Yeah. Can I, like, ask you a question? Who is Hanuna? Really? That's a sigh, and after a short silence, begin to explain. Haruna is my ex-girlfriend. In my second year of high school, I became friends with the other pianists in my music club, Haruna Kuno. I'm not sure that I can say exactly why she liked me, but she was always kind to me, so we started dating. But one day, I said something to her that ended up hurting her a lot. You know how I can be. We broke up then, and it was bad. To the point we couldn't be friends anymore. I've avoided her in all Roman since. What? what? Oh. I see. So I was right. They did date. Hanuna has been. She says she just, you know, wants to make up, be friends again. But I feel like she also wants something more. I don't know what or that I'm worthy of. That kind of thing. I'm sure that I just heard her again. Oh. That's ya! Uh, bruh! Bruh! But even if you think that way, uh, 
Do you like? Do you feel like you want a relationship with her? Yeah. I used to think so, but maybe all, yeah, maybe all I feel now is guilt. If that's the case, then uh, I think I finally know what to do about this whole Kaseima Yukimura mess. Yeah. The idea I had back at work pops up in my head, and thanks to Tatsu's honesty, I feel like I finally have the courage to go through with it. Yeah. Hey, uh, bruh. Thanks for being honest with me, man. There's one other thing I want to talk to you about. It's about the business deal. After meeting your family and coming to understand their position, I, I can hardly, you know, condone what Kas Katsunosuke is doing when, you know, none of you seem to want it. I'm just so sick of this whole fucking mess, you know. And I don't, I don't know what Katsu wants from me exactly, but I don't want to deal with them anymore either. And most importantly, I don't want to let your family lose everything. I take a deep breath. I can do this. Just, just ask him. Just ask him. Got this. I got you back, Tony. Go yell. My cheek starts to burn uncomfortably hot. Yeah, I actually have an idea on how to solve this. You know, it's kind of crazy, but. Tatsuya, um, well, will you say that you're my boyfriend? So that, you know, I mean, so, uh, listen, man, it's so that, you know, Katsunosuke will back off, you know? Uh, yeah. Tatsuya looks so shocked, but somehow, somehow I managed to keep going. Good job, Toriko. Good job. Yeah. I, look, man, uh, I don't think it would work with any other guys because, you know, I, I don't think it would stop if it was, you know, any other than you. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. You know? But, you know, if we do this, you know, you'll send a strong message, message, I mean, of who I'm throwing my support behind as Rokuro's daughter. You know? I don't look at Tatsuya. I don't think I can. My heart beats is racing wildly and I don't remember being this nervous about something in my whole life. The fact that he doesn't say anything makes it ten times worse, yeah! You, 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 you can't break it off any time, that, and then, you know, uh... <gasps> oh! A strong, strong hand grabs! Me and Bulls, man, closer! Hot lips on mine. My, my, my mind goes blank! Yeah! You did it, Tony Cow! You did it! Yeah! So beautiful! There's no high button, but I'll use editing skill to show the full image for you guys! Yeah! Still! It's beautiful! It's beautiful! Takami! Thank you! Yeah! I mean, I mean, you know, you, you're a little sad and shit because, you know, how you feel towards something, but still, Takami, bro! Thank you. Hey, Tatsuya. Bruh. Thank you, man. Damn. God. And I'm happy. That Toniko finally. Yeah. Got together with Tatsuya. Ah, ho hopefully nothing goes bad yeah, after this, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't wanna, you know, I, I'm sorry that I had to, you know, break up a kiss right now, but I gotta move on, guys. I'm sorry, Tonko, okay? That's it, I'm sorry, too. So, yeah. Yeah. My bad, guys, yeah. Oh, there is. Oh, that seems so important just seconds ago. Seems to melt away at the feeling of Tatsuya kissing me. His lips on mine. They're so soft and cool. I can't think. I realize that I don't want it to end. But if I press space right now, it's going to die! Ah! After a moment, one that feels all too soon, Tatsuya pulls away. So, sorry, uh, uh, I shake my head. Oh, uh, no, uh, uh, can, can I take that as a yes then? I mean, Tatsuya nods. His face looks as red as mine feels right now. On one condition, 
It can't be fake. I, I, I genuinely like you, you know? We, we have a lot in common. I, I feel like I can get along with you pretty well. So I can't just pretend. <gasps> oh, uh... Butterflies dance in my stomach. I realize that I'm smiling right now. Well, I, I think no, no, but no. I know that. I like you. Yeah, I like you too. I probably have for a while now. Ah. <gasps> Before we can get any further, to oh, what? Two very loud cheers come ringing out from the bushes. <sighs> Takome, Emmy. Bruh! Girl, why? Too soon, man! Too soon, Dio! Takumi and Amy comes out of hiding and Tatsuya and I separate almost immediately. Goddamn! We get up, standing awkwardly next to each other as the two intruders grin at us. We totally saw everything, you guys. Yeah. Toriko, I didn't think you'd go and ask him out when I told you to talk things out, girl. Good job, yeah. I will, um, yeah, girl, listen up. The rest of the night is spent like that, enduring endless teases for Takumi. And hey, goddamn. But despite the teasing, I can't stop smiling. How can I? Ah! Tatsuya and I feel the same way about each other. I didn't expect it, but I couldn't be happier. Yeah. I hope that I made the right decision. But for now, I'm more than happy to just, you know, enjoy the moment with my boyfriend and friends. Yeah. Oh, what? Shatter? What the fuck is that? I'm to burn. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Yo, what? Why, Gabe? Why you title it like that right after that? Right after that moon? Why you title that, man? Damn! Son of a... Uh, what do you mean by shattered? Tony goes hard? This relationship? Why? I mean, probably because of Kusema, right? Fuck. Ah. No! I'm not gonna let that fucking happen, no! Tony go! Got your back! Be strong, girl! Be strong! Yeah! Yeah. It's almost been a week since Tatsuya and I start dating yo! Well, if you can call it that, what's that supposed to mean? In truth! <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Nothing has changed. Yeah. In the first few days, I was like walking on clouds. I was so happy. You know? Yeah. But then, as it usually does, reality sets in. I rarely see Tatya since, you know, we don't share any of the same classes. I'm lucky if I can catch him in the hallways, you know? It's been off all week at Vereda's too, helping his grandfather prepare for an exhibition in between helping Chisaki out at Blue Sky. Texting him, or texting is pretty awkward too, you know, with just general how are yous and uh, good nights and stuff, yeah. Phone call would probably be even worse, so after remembering his disdain from them, I haven't even tried! Girl, please, why? It's like, after that one kiss, we didn't see each other, so, you know, things got just weird between us, yeah! But tonight... Tonight... <gasps> Could you bring the latte on the counter to the customer by the window? Uh, Alright, yeah! We're both working. I was so excited to finally see him again. I couldn't stop smiling, but things are just the same here too. Maybe, uh, he regrets his decision and doesn't want to be with me anymore. No, girl! No! Don't think like that, girl! No! As I go to grab the latte, I can't help but sigh. I push a strand of hair out of my face and stare gloomily at the drink. Something tells me to look up just then. I catch Tatsu staring at me. But he quickly looks away. Ow! <laughs> He's been staring at me off and on all night. That has mean he still likes me. Right? I 
I should try it. Uh, fix all this weirdness. Yeah, we'll both. Yeah, we'll both be off soon. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, we could go out somewhere. I mean, hold on to that thought. I make it through the rest of my shift. It's after ten. And, uh, both of our shifts are finally done. I wait by the door for Tatsu to get changed, repeating in my head what I'm going to say. Please say yes. 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 Tatsu yes. finally comes out of the break room. I patiently wait for him, and when he gets close enough to hear me, uh, I start to speak. H hey. Hey. Okay. 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 Not the, not the warmest response I've said, but this is Tatsu we're talking about. So yeah. Hey, uh, Brett. Uh, I was wondering if you had some time to go out before, you know, you go home. Maybe, like, grab a little something to eat or drink or... Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can. Even though I thought I prepared myself for this answer, my face fails. Not fails, but probably same feeling, but yeah, my face falls. Oh, uh, right. I'm feeling tired and... I have to leave town early tomorrow, so... I, I, I see. I stand there awkwardly, shifting my weight from foot to foot. Unsure of, you know, what the fuck to say, yeah. Uh, would you like to walk to the station together, at least? I mean, uh, sure. Yeah. I pushed the door open and we walked off into the night. Tatsuya and I walk the beautifully lit streets as always in silence. But I feel so, so incredibly happy, you know, just by being at his side like this that it's ridiculous, man. Damn. We're walking so close together that I'm reminded the last time we were this close, and we kissed. Yeah, yo. I wonder if it'd be okay for me to hold his hands. Of course it is okay. Come, come on down at his pale hand so close to mine. It seems so simple to just grab it, but it's strange how such a small action means so much, you know. I wait for a moment in agony and wanted to be closer to him by being too afraid to take the next step. I'll go to hell with this, yeah, fuck it. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I reach out and grab Tatsu's cold. Not cold, but cool, I mean hand. Perhaps a bit too roughly for such a gentle expression of affection. He stiffens, but he doesn't make me let it go, Yael. My heart is beating so fast, I think I might have a heart attack, man. I, I glance up at Tatsu, who is pointedly not looking at me. I can swear I see redness on his cheek, yeah. I press my other hand to my chest to... You know, try and slow my breathing, yeah. I did it. Yeah, good job, yeah. And his hand feels so nice and cool and soft. It's such a tiny thing, but I feel so full of happiness. It's embarrassing. But in this moment, I can't bring myself to care. Tatsuya and I walk the street quietly, hand in hand, until we part as the station. There's no words of love or kisses, just a softly murmured goodbye. But the time we spent together is something I can't stop thinking about for the rest of the night. Oh, that was cute, guys! Goddamn!